Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we'll be solving practice problem 19.6, and this is about H parameter of two port network, and this is especially on the request of a student who has urged me to solve this because uh, of exam. So let's. Uh, uh, See what is hybrid parameter equation. You can see v1 and i2 is given in terms of h parameters. And if you see these two circuits, it will be easier to follow or understand. That is, h11 is v1 from here. If we put v2 is equal to 0, this term will become 0. And therefore, we calculate H11. Now, how do we put V2 is equal to 0? We short circuit the output terminal. And similarly, uh, H21, this one, here also V2 is 0, therefore, it is I2 over I1. From this circuit, we calculate these two parameters. And similarly, for the other two, H12, I1, 1 has to be 0, and to make I1 0, we have to keep this as an open circuit, so no current flows. And so two parameters we calculate from here, H112, H12, and H22. Now let's come to the question. The practice problem says find the impedance at the input port of the circuit. So this is the circuit given. Uh, you can see there is a resistance that connected at the output, 50 kilo ohm resistance. These are the parameters given, and the answer is also given. The first thing, we write down the hybrid parameter equation. And then we mark the currents and the voltages. So you can see in all the hybrid parameter circuits, currents always enter the circuit. So I1 is entering and I2 is entering. And this is the input voltage, we call it V1. And the output voltage is called V2. And the impedance is, uh, or input impedance is shown here, which is actually input impedance is V over I, that is V1 over I1. So this formula we'll be using to calculate our answer. And now we'll put in the values in the equation of the hybrid parameters. So these parameters will plug in. Uh, just for your information, you can see H11 is actually impedance term. H11 is V1 over I1. So it will be its value is in ohms. But H12 is voltage divided by voltage, so it does not have any unit. H21 is current divided by current, so it does not have any unit. But H22 is I divided by V, so this is admittance, and the admittance uh, has a unit, Siemens. So this is just for your information. Now let's plug in the values in the first equation. H11 from here, 2 kilo or 2 into 10 raised to the power 3. And similarly, H12 is 10 raised to the power minus 4. And in the second equation, H21 is 100. And H22 is 10 raised to the power minus 5 Siemens. Now keep in mind that we have to find this V1 and I1. V1 divided by I1. We need to eliminate I2 and V2. Now, one important point you have to keep in mind is the marking of the polarity. That is, now in this case, you see this current I2 is actually flowing from here this way. And we know wherever the current touches first, that becomes positive. So this terminal will become positive, and this will be negative. Whereas V2 is negative at the bottom and positive at the top. We will write, it is better to write 
uh, the KVL equation to find the values of the uh, parameters. So from the right loop, by KVL and minus V2 and then minus 50K into I2 equals zero. And from here we can find I2 to be minus V2 divided by 50K or 50 into 10 to the power three. Now putting this value in equation two, this is equation two, we put in the value of I2. So now we have in terms of V2 and I1, so we just a common, move it to the left hand side. And in the next slide we were here, so we take common V2. So this is what is inside 1 over 15 to 10 raised to the power. T will become 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 5. This remains 10 raised to the power minus 5, only the sign will change because we're taking minus common. And so this solving will be 3 into 10 raised to the power minus 5. So from here we can say that V2 is 100 divided by this value into I1. Or solving, it will become minus 33.33 10 raised to the power 5 I1. So this is our V2. Now we'll plug in this value of V2 in equation number 1 here. If you plug in V2, we get I1 terms and V1 terms. So V1 2 10 raised to the power 3 I1 10 raised to the power minus 4 and for V2 we are using this value. And now we can just simplify. This is uh, 2000. And this 10 raised to the power minus 4 multiplied by 10 raised to the power plus 5 will be 10. 10 multiplied by 33.3 will be 333.3. .3. And subtracting our V1 will be 1666.7 I1. And from here, we can find the input impedance, which is V1 over I1. And from here, you see if we move I1 here, what is left is 1666.7 ohms. And this can also be written in terms of a kilo ohms. Just move three decimals to the left. It will be 1.6667 kilo ohms. So this is how uh, you can solve this easily. Uh, I don't think it's a difficult question. I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.